Fill in the missing numbers rounded to two decimal places. The probability Maria burning a bread piece is 0 0.30. She is now toasting two bread slices one after the other. We must find the values of A, B, and C. Well, the probability for a complete event must total 1. Notice that for the bread to be burnt, that has a probability of 0 0.3. There's only one other possible situation, so let's subtract 0 0.3 from 1. That leaves us with 0.7, so that must be the probability for toasting the bread. If we add up the probability for all possible events, they equal 1. So that means we already found A. The probability for toasted bread is 0.7. Next, let's find what B equals. Well, if we follow the tree diagram, the first piece of bread was burned, and then the second piece of bread was burned, and we want to find the probability of two burnt pieces of bread. Well, we know that the probability for a burnt piece is 0.3, and if we have that occurring again, let's multiply that by the same probability. When we have a compound event, we multiply the probability for each event. 0.3 times 0.3, well, that equals 0 0.09. So that's what B equals. That's the probability of getting two pieces of burnt toast. Next, let's find C. Well, if we follow the tree diagram, we have a toasted bread and then another toasted bread. So in this case, we'll multiply the probability for toasting bread, that's 0.7 times 0.7, and that gets us 0.49. So that's the probability of getting two pieces of toasted bread. Let's say, though, that we wanted to have one burned and one toasted. Well, then we would multiply 0.3 times 0.7, and that has a probability of 0.21. That might be, for instance, following this track, one burned and one toasted. But in this case, we determine the values for A, B, and C by finding the probabilities and multiplying them to determine what the end result would be. In this worksheet, you might not be given the initial probability numbers, but you can use your own methods to determine what they would be. For instance, if we had a coin and we were flipping it between heads and tails, well, we know that there is a one-half probability for each, or you could also use a decimal of 0.5. But in this case, we determined that our values were 0.7 for A, 0.09 for B, and 0.49 for C.